Hello once again audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. Ugh! Marla still has my tablet, but hers is fixed, thanks to a very good friend of mine. Um, he was playing with it tonight, and he sent me a picture of it turned on, which is very exciting. Uh, he does hardware like crazy. I've seen him fix a ton of stuff like that. Uh, so, anyways, I'm kind of excited. Because it might be my new tablet. But still, it's bigger than my phone. Uh, today I wanted to go over some of the not-so-well-documented bugs and known issues. Uh, and where possible, how to address or deal with them. So to list off a few, the ones that I know about and have personally experienced, obviously, the first and foremost is crashing. Uh, if you think that this game crashes a lot now, you should have been playing it Oh, I don't know, a year ago. Um, or when it first was released six months ago. Whenever we started. Uh, that was bad. You were, I was losing probably two, if not three, out of five armies due to crashes. So, And, it, you know, we also need to take this with a grain of salt because you're playing a game for free. You know, these guys are working very hard at developing what I consider to be an awesome game. Uh, very much forward thinking as far as uh, mobile gaming and uh, it's free it's free and they provide you the opportunity to actually play the game appropriately and move forward uh, and compete with others uh, for free so let's let's just keep that in mind before we uh, moan or gripe too much uh, because it's an excellent game and you know I've I've heard excellent things about this game, and I personally love this game. I think it's fantastic. So, crashing. Uh, obviously, you know, the, the problem there is that you go and you attack and you drop all of your troops, and you get 5% or 50% or even, you know, 99% through a base, and all of a sudden the game closes out and your troops are gone and you haven't won or any sort of loot as a result of that attack, but what you've lost is your troops. And obviously the time that it takes to train your troops. Um, so that's that's a big one and a big nuisance. What do you do to fix that? Uh, well, they have recommendations that you actually disable your audio. Uh, like the sound effects and the music. Which is over on the right hand side there. As you saw, I just clicked on the cogs and it slides out and you disable those things. One of the other things that they recommend or what I personally suggest that you try is to disable and turn off all of your background applications and run a little application called Task Killer. Um, I run Advanced Task Killer Free uh, and it goes ahead and it checks and <laughs> it will go ahead and actually boost all of your applications. So when you go back in there obviously you know there's certain things that will run but it does run in the background here and you can auto start it you can choose an auto kill level obviously mine's aggressive um, auto kill notice so that when things are running in the background and they get closed it will tell you now the second thing that I do uh, is to go into the actual settings and you go into the developer options if you don't it sorry I, I, I forgot to even tell you guys I'm running an Android there you go. An Android S6 is what this is. Not the Edge, just the S6. Uh, it's a nice phone. I like it. So, and this is running Lollipop. So, to get your developer options, you want to go to About Device. And then you want to click your build number. So you see it says No Need. Developer Mode has already been enabled. Once you touch it ten times, it enables the developer options you go into the developer options way down at the very bottom second from the bottom uh, there's limit background processes this will actually allow the phone to not run background processes there's a standard limit I don't know what it is uh, however you can even go as aggressive as saying no background processes so that you're only running dominations uh, it'll free up the memory and hopefully allow you to uh, run the game with a fewer flaws. Um, now, 
getting back into dominations. What other ones? I encountered one last war. It was a little bit of a nu nuisance, but it only lasts in one war. It's the first time that I see it. Have seen it, and I hope I'd never see it again. Um, I got all the way through the attack, uh, five stars, only to discover that I was disconnected, and it only awarded me with two stars. So I was happy in that I actually got paid. Um, however, it's still frustrating, especially if it was a closer war, because that was their number one that I had gone on. Um, so that's one, and I don't know what you would do about that. I, I would assume the preventative measures for that would be to try and improve your bandwidth, I guess, or have more bandwidth available while you're attacking. Um, so that's where that one's at. Uh, missing war loot. Let's face it, war, war is a good time. It brings an alliance together. It's competitive. It's part of the reason why I love this game. Um, and you're really not losing out on much. I know other games where when you go to war, uh, you're losing a lot. You're committing to a lot of food and time. Uh, whereas in Dominations, there's usually a troop retinue, so you're getting some of those troops back at the end of war. So if you're missing on the war loot, the only thing you're really short, short on is, you know, food. Um, however, that's not to, not to say it's not a uh, pain and that it doesn't hold you back a little bit as far as your command post bonus. See, mine's almost... I'm getting there. I like to fill that. I usually like looking at it and having it full. Sweet! I got a ballista. Um, what other ones do we have? They do have some other known ones. They do outline them in their forms. Um, we should say thank you. That was very nice of them. Thank you, Buzz. That's good. It's hard for the lower guys to donate sometimes. Uh, a minor bug that I would say um, is... Right here. If we go in here... Okay, so you see how I minus that out. Uh, so I minus out that troop, and I am no longer training 120 out of 120. I would consider this to be a minor bug. Uh, I'm actually only training 111 out of 120. Uh, and to prove that, if you touch somewhere else and then touch back on there, there it goes, 111. And the same goes the opposite direction. So if you go into your barracks, you touch to top that up, obviously, because I want to train another artillery. But when you go back out, it still says that I'm only training 111 out of 120. I would consider that to be a minor bug. Um, and then when you go back, 120 out of 120. Um, there is a bug that exists in regard to your uh, clan castle having invisible troops on the top, but it still fires. Fort, rather, sorry. The Freudian slip there. Hmm. Um, if you guys know of any other bugs, uh, you know, feel free to comment below. Uh, if you guys need help or would like advice or would like to give me advice on any of these, I would love to hear from you. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Uh, love hearing from our, I don't want to say fans. We like hearing from people. We like people. Uh, keep your sticks on the ice. Have a good time.